Alrighty, we're back here with the Bring a Trailer 1970 Donnie Brook Green L46 four speed, 27,000 and change actual miles, all documentation. Sophie's doing her test drive. Top on or top off? Top off. We did take the hard top off and put the soft top on so we can go downtown um, just in case it sprinkles. Not supposed to rain tonight. Looks beautiful. Um, so yeah, here's the car. I did point out some imperfections on the top, on the deck lid. We do have some matching paint that came with the car. There's some scratches here and here from the hard top. And the worst one is on this side where at one point it's rubbed. So there is matching paint that comes with the car. Uh, the soft top is in excellent condition. I'm sure it's been replaced at some point. Mirror, glass, gauges, everything's great shape. All right, go ahead and fire it up again. We'll take it for a ride. All righty. Cool door handles. Everything's in really good shape. There's a little bit of corrosion there. Um, you know, one thing that I would do, all the buttons and the door handles, everything's in great shape, except for the carpet. I would put a new carpet kit in it, and they're like 360 bucks online. We're not gonna wear our seat belts, so we're gonna turn that off. All the gauges are working correctly. It's not quite warm yet. Good oil pressure. I set the clock at 11 o'clock. Um, battery amperage. I don't think these lights are working. Fan does work. Heater works. All of this works. Doesn't look like it was ever smoked in. Like uh, maybe one day back in the 70s. <laughs> This light is on, says left tail lamp, but that's working. Uh, wipers we'll try later. Inside of the soft tops in great condition. The carpeting in the back is eh, average. There's a matching car cover. You can see the fading here. Should be dark black, dark black, black. Um, I don't know what this is for. I don't even know what that is. It's got these bumper things. Oh. Oh. Wow. I, I didn't. Oh, and that opens the headlights. That's cool. I gotta get out and see that. <laughs> so the left one, the one on the left, put it down in a sec. Go ahead and put it down. Turn the knob. Knob? Yeah. I don't even know what that does. Now now flip the le the right lever. That is so cool. I didn't even know that's there. Because I know when you pull the lights, yeah, they come up automatically. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm sure everybody already knew that on the <laughs> on Bring a Trailer. They're going to be like, you guys are stupid. <laughs> What the F? You guys don't even know about the cars you're selling. And I would say, nope. I just know the condition. <laughs> it's, it's gorgeous. It's That's all about condition. Yeah. The steering wheel. Oh, let's do it. It's beautiful. I know it drives great. I've driven it numerous times. Four speed. It's very low geared. Here we go. It's so quiet. Yeah, it's super quiet. Oh, I was gonna put some WD-40 on that squeak. Oh, I'm just, it's okay. Now everybody's gonna get to hear that it is a 1970 with a little squeak. And you know the fun thing? I, I personally like cars like this because I've bought numerous cars. I have a couple myself, older cars, and I like cars that aren't perfect. Because if they're not perfect, then you can do some things to them. If they're perfect, then it's no fun. Mm -hmm. So like this, I'd buy a $380 carpet kit and make it look nicer. 
You know, you get the car and you can make improvements and make it better. Yeah. If you're buying yeah. it's perfect, then you can't make it better. It's kind of boring, huh? You know, I, I, I like don't to know. just look at it, stand I by like it, to and make things better. The dash is in really good shape. Uh, there's a little crack right here up at the speaker. Windows, power windows are down here. It's kind of jerky to drive. Well, you'll get used up, to it. Yeah, yeah you'll get, get used, used to, to it because it's kind of different. It's just so quiet for me. I'd rather put different mufflers on it so it's not so quiet. isn't going to go that fast. No. no, it's very low gear. You're going to be in fourth gear now. Going yeah, 40. Yeah, so we... We're going 40 in fourth gear. Yeah, so we can go too far. Too so, fast. I'd say 110, maybe 120 yeah? max. Yeah, because now you're going to want to shift again. There is no shifting. Oh, there's no... That's it. That's it. I was kidding. stuff is in really really nice condition obviously when they did the restoration they put all new or maybe I don't know maybe the interior was like this the nice thing about these older Corvettes is everything's readily available you can buy every piece for this car anywhere oh, really? yeah there's numerous sites that just sell specialized yes. yeah Is up here going to give us air. Yeah. And it's not super hot tonight. No, so. it's nice. It's adorable. It's really nice. Factory radio, that's cool. I think it works. It just needs to be, somebody needs to mess around with the, uh, the wiring because I heard the speakers come on just oh, a second okay. ago.
looks in the dusk. The carpet definitely needs to be new carpet. It's this color, but there's no rips or tears or anything. No, it's supposed so. to be black. Look at that. It should be black. It's just faded. It's this color. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. Sounds good, looks good. Donnie Brook Green. So quiet. Right blinker brakes work. Left blinker. Fun. Fun, fun car, for sure. Okay, top's off. Sophie's getting back in. Kevin, wax residual. So touch up here, maybe a rear um, reverse lights, definitely a carpet kit, uh, piddle around with the clock and the radio. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. hate how these mufflers sound. Sound awful. Sound like they're plugged. <laughs> Just not a fan. Stan. I like it quiet. Do you? Personally, yes. Oh, from that truck? Yes. From the not truck to this? Truck. Jeez, yeah. yeah. Lights out one one spot. There you go. That was two. 
That was two? Oh. conversation where's the car going Midwest, that's yeah. where the car is going. Okay. Um, what else can we talk about? What's the L46? Well, where do you think it's going? What's the L46 mean? It's the engine. Oh, nice. Yeah. Duh. It's the engine. <laughs> the fan, the engine fan. I want to hear the exhaust. Hello? Like that truck. That truck was too loud. This is too quiet. I just like how... I disagree. I like it quiet, but I, I, I hear where you're coming from. This just kinda, a little. This type not, of car does need to have a little Not a lot louder. Sound just a little sound. Maybe a little bit. I just love the color. And the palm yeah, the trees. color is gorgeous. It's palm tree, palm tree green. Yeah, it's perfect. But, but Chevrolet calls it Donnie Brook. Donnie. Donnie. Donnie came up with that color. I can't believe these are actual miles. Is that real? Well, I mean, it really. Looks All the documentation like it's been says it has. Very well. Twenty-seven thousand miles.
Chevy horn. Yes, like it. <laughs> License plate light is on. It means it's not on in the left tail lamp. This light is on, but the left tail lamp is working. So I'm not sure about that. It has 11 to 1 compression. That's crazy. And it's that quiet. Bring a trailer guys are going to be like, stop talking about how quiet it is. It <laughs> sounds like it's supposed to. Alright, we'll see you in a minute. Now hit the button with your foot. Oh, there we go. So we do have a front turn signal light out there and we will have that fixed before the car is delivered. So that must be why the turn signal light is on. Side markers are all working. Rear tail lights are working. License plate lights working. So that light must be for the front. So we will get that repaired before the car is delivered. Headlights both work. That's good. Yep. Okay. Ready? Let's go downtown. button again with your left foot. Oh, that's on. Huh. I can't imagine that's supposed to be on. It says lamps? Yeah, headlamps. But they're on. Oh, maybe I don't even know if stay on because it's on. Yeah. Can you get on this way? To that road? I said it's really quiet. Yes, you think you have a couple of times. Well, we found a couple things wrong with it. Yeah. Front turn sick per front parking light. Yeah. And the the, rug. the rugs. And a couple little scratches. And that's it. Nothing that can't be fixed. No, and then you can make it your own. Kind of sounds like it has a cam. Mm. Like that truck. Not as much though. So cool. Chevrolet Corvette L46 four speed 27,000 documented original miles Unbelievable car. Oh, she's not going through there. Obstruction. Good good eye Obstruction, Obstruction. I'm gonna move this little weed out of the way for Sophie. Whoa. This is staying in the video, by the way. <laughs> this is my way. Yeah. What if I stall? <laughs> oh, because you're on a hill? <laughs> Do it. Please stall.
All right, let's go downtown. It's kind of dark. Sunset tonight. No, no pressure. Got the light on the gear shift. Don't stall it. Wow. A lot of pressure here. Right. Okay, so front driver's side parking light bulb needs to be replaced. We'll do that before the car is delivered. Matching or a car cover. Recommendations we're making are, I'm saying new mufflers, but the, the new owner might like it the way it is. Yeah. You like it like this, right? Yeah, because we can converse. <laughs> um, and a carpet kit. I and mean, I think we all agree we're gonna do, we need to do a carpet kit. So yeah. that's, that's 300 bucks, and the owner can install it. There's nothing tricky about these. It's just all laid in, and, and when you buy them, the nice thing is when you buy these, I've looked at them online before, they come formed. Oh. So, yeah, you just take the seats out. There's four bolts to take the seats out. Sure. And then, um, where are you going? Well, I don't know. I took a different route. <laughs> you take... Uh, Take the seats out, and this is central. Um, what was I saying? Oh, you take the seats out, yep. and then you take out all the old carpet kit, and you just slide all the new stuff in, and it slides underneath everything. You don't have to disassemble the car. So easy. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Saying, yeah, right? they come. They're very readily available. Cool. Yeah. I'm gonna ditch this light, we'll be right back. What street is this? This is my favorite street, Fifth Avenue, downtown Naples. Were you allowed to drive the 71 Corvette that you used to have? <laughs> no, I wasn't. Unless somebody was in the passenger side. Oh, you weren't allowed? <laughs> you were? Just a couple times. It was my choice not to drive it. Because it's, uh, it's a little bit harder than a regular car. But a newer car, I should say. Seatbelt has a button, but the headlight one doesn't. See the the radio light, lights come on. Yeah. It's not working. It's not working. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the clock. Now it's 11:30. <laughs> we're not we're not selling it as a guaranteed clock worker though. <laughs> because because you like people to be on time. It's not always working. Del Mar, there's your restaurant. Adam's restaurant. Adam, yeah. Quiet down here tonight. Yeah, well, next Monday it won't be like this for sure. Actually, just another couple weeks. like this because it's got 11 to 1 compression so it kind of sounds like it's got a cam just runs like rough it's fast but oh live music
anything to figure out how to get out of here. Alrighty, we're at the end of the road, so uh, any parting words on this 70 Corvette wow. that's on um, Bring a Trailer? Yeah, good luck to everybody who's bidding. It's yeah. a beautiful car. So I'm just going to get classic. a beautiful car. It's, it's really attractive. It's in great condition for being that age. So good luck. Yeah. It will make a very happy uh, new owner. It will be covered up sitting in our shop until the lucky winner wins it. And somebody's going to win it because yeah. it's no reserve. So this car is going to be sold no matter what. And we will fix the left parking light. And I'm going to research this and find out if this is supposed to be on. All the headlights are working, but that's on. I don't know why that is. So. We will take a look at that. But the exciting thing is these knobs down here, that's kind of cool. I didn't even know what those were. They look factory. So one opens the wiper door home and the other one opens the headlights but doesn't turn the headlights on. And I don't know what the middle knob does. They're already open. Oh, yeah. So if you open the one on yeah, the right, the open it'll the, open the other the one. Yeah. That's and, so cool. Yeah. But the switch in the middle must do something. I don't know what it is. But the license plate light's off now, so that's good. All right. We'll see everybody on the next showcase. <laughs> Test drive by Sophie. Good, good luck, luck, everybody. Bye-bye.